Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a favourites video for you because I haven't done one in ages and I'm going to be completely honest here, this is all new products for me because obviously I've been going cruelty free so I've brought quite a few new products and I'm going to clear out my makeup now because I'm just, I'm reaching for these more than some of the things that I wanted to use up just because these are so much better. So. First off is um, the Gosh Anti-Wrinkle Primer. So this just looks like this. I really like the packaging because it's got one of those things that like push the product up. Um, and I mean like you can see that I've used a fair bit of it already. Uh, so really like that. Um, this is kind of like a silicone one so it really fills in my pores and fine lines around my eyes. I just feel like my foundation sits on it better. I wasn't going to buy a primer because I was just going to use up my Laura Mercier one. But I really don't like it. I've used it twice and I just didn't like it. But this is so much better. I find that my foundation goes on so much nicer. It's smoother and I like the way that this one looks better. The foundation is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. I've heard quite a few people talk about this. And the packaging is gorgeous. This little like rose gold copper kind of colour is great. This also, I don't know if you can see because I've just got it to come up, has one of those same pusher systems as what's in the Gosh um, primer. But together these go on so well. My only downside, well I have two downsides about this, is that one, it's slightly too dark, which is a bit rubbish. The other one is that this pump, isn't the great. Sometimes I press it and a little bit comes out. Sometimes I press it and loads comes out. Um, so I don't know if that's just mine or if that's a trouble that they all have. But like our pump, and it's almost as if like there's air in the pump or something and it just sort of doesn't always come out consistently. So those are my little drawbacks about that. But otherwise this is a great foundation. It looks nice. I love the way the finish of it. I I just love this foundation. This looks, for being new, this is so beat up, like, I can't even with this. But this is the Ultra Contour Palette from Makeup Revolution. And I love everything in this, basically. The only thing I don't use this much is this, like, sort of baked highlighter here. But I love the bronzer. I've got it on my eyes today, actually. I've got some of the taupey shades on my eyes as well. And like the yellow and pink powders are great. And I love this one because it's got sort of like um, like shimmer in it. So it really reflects and makes my skin look dewy. I just think this is fantastic. And I think it's like six or eight pound. It's amazing. This mascara from Barry M. I was never one for Barry M's makeup. I just used their nail polishes and that was it. But this is amazing, like, this is called the um, Extra Volume Showgirl Mascara. So it looks like this. The packaging is great. It's all, like, pink, like, mirrored kind of thing. It's got little stars on the top. And has just, like, a normal bog standard brush, which is fatter at one end. Uh, but the, uh, this just makes my lashes look amazing. It splays them out. It makes them, like curl up gives some great volume because I don't need a lot of length I find my lashes are quite long so I just love the volume that this gives me at the roots it just makes them look a little bit fuller and a little bit more there and I can use it on my bottom lashes and I think it looks quite nice so I mean this is so cheap as well I think it's like a fiver um so this is definitely my new favorite mascara this is the MUA um eyeshadow in champagne these cost a pound and this is the most beautiful shimmery highlight shade ever. This is what it looks like. I'm going to pop it on the back of my hand. So there you can see it just shimmering away. It's so beautiful. Basically I'd seen so many people use this as like a highlighter that I just decided to go out and buy it myself. It's what I've got on now. I think it's so dewy, so nice. I, it's not too in your face either it's just like a really nice subtle glow and considering it's a pound it's probably one of my favorite highlighters that i own i just think it's beautiful lastly is a skincare item i've been upping my skincare because i've noticed that i'm obviously getting older i'm the wrong side of 25 now and i had all of these little issues like i was getting really bad 
pigmentation issues underneath my eyes which isn't completely sorted I don't think it's ever going to be but like the wrinkles were getting a bit bad underneath my eyes like my expression lines are coming through and I just had these little niggles and you know so I brought a whole new skincare line and most of it comes from Superdrug because they're obviously cruelty free but like I wanted a serum that would really like oomph and give a kickstart to my skin and this is actually like for the next age band so this is for like 35 and above but it's so good it's the anti-aging night serum concentrate with photo glycage I don't know what it's got in it but yeah yeah I really like this this is suitable for vegetarians and vegans and it's against cruel tooth testing so this is what it looks like comes with a little pump as you can see and I just use like a pump and a half and just use it from like my neck upwards and just like circular motions all over and yeah I actually apply an oil first and then I apply this and like it's just been really great sometimes I'll just use this if I don't feel like I need all that moisture but this is definitely kickstart a change in my skin it's less red like around here like underneath my eyes it's not quite so dark anymore so and I just feel like it's doing a really good job of like kickstarting my skin into like I don't know just well it's kickstarting my skincare really because I was not in a good habit with my skincare and now I'm pretty good with it um so yeah this is really yeah. so those are kind of my favorites this month and I'm sorry it's like kind of a short video but I will see you soon in my next video don't forget to check down below especially my blog in case I have full posts about any of these products and I will see you soon bye guys